citizens and their doctors? Or we, will we continue down the Obamacare road to second-rate socialized medicine? Will we keep America safe from the threats of nuclear war and atomic terrorism? Or will we pass on to future generations a land devastated and destroyed by the enemies of civilization? This is the responsibility with which we have been charged by history. This is our challenge. This is the fight that falls to our generation. When we launched this campaign 13 months ago, we saw a movement grow. The pundits all said it was hopeless, but we saw over 300,000 volunteers all across this nation. Over 1.5 million contributions, averaging about $60 each. Many of those volunteers, many of those contributions, you never forget. Just a few days ago, two young kids, ages four and six, handed me two envelopes full of change. All of their earnings from their lemonade stand. They wanted the campaign to have it. That's what built this campaign. That's what fueled this movement. Thank you to each of you, incredible patriots who have fought so hard to save our nation. <laughs> and I with you. I am so grateful to you, to my amazing wife, Heidi. to our precious girls, Caroline and Catherine. To my mom, the prayer warrior. To my dad, who has traveled this nation preaching the gospel. to Carly Fiorina, who has been an incredible, phenomenal running mate. <laughs> what you have done, the movement that you have started, is extraordinary. I love each and every one of you. From the beginning, I've said that I would continue on as long as there was a viable path to victory. Tonight, I'm sorry to say, it appears that path has been foreclosed. Together, we left it all on the field in Indiana. We gave it everything we've got. But the voters chose another path. And so, with a heavy heart, but with boundless optimism for the long-term future of our nation, we are suspending our campaign. But hear me now, I am not suspending our fight for liberty. I am not suspending our fight to defend the Constitution, to defend the Judeo-Christian values that built America. Our movement will continue. 
And I give you my word that I will continue this fight with all of my strength and all of my ability. You are extraordinary. And we will continue to fight next week and next month and next year. And together we will continue as long as God grants us the strength to fight on. For one thing remains as true today as it was 40 years ago in Kansas City. In this fight for the long-term future of America, there is no substitute for victory. There is no substitute for the America that each and every one of us loves with all of our heart, that we believe in with all of our heart, and that together we will restore as a shining city on the hill for every generation to come. Thank you to each of you, and God bless you.